What is going on everyone? It's Scott back from CryptoRS. Now today we're going to be talking about an exciting new altcoin and it happens to be called Dether, D-T-H. Now Dether has no relation to Ether. It's a very similar name but I assure you it is very different. So it's currently trading at 16 cents with a extremely low 24 hour volume of 52,000. So low that anyone can sway the market. And it's only trading on one uh, market, one exchange. It's trading on IDEX and it's only trading with ETH Ethereum. It's not even trading with Bitcoin, Litecoin, or US dollars. So this is a extremely limited market that they can trade with. And I guess the hope is that they can get onto more exchanges and offer more trading pairs. So what is Dether? So Dether is essentially a new platform where people can go out and buy and sell cryptocurrencies around them in their local community. They can find like-minded individuals. They can, buy, they can find stores um, that are reputable and they can buy coins there. So right now, the major way to buy coins is through exchanges, is through you know an online transaction. You have to have a wallet. You have to have typically a lot of coins. You have to have Bitcoin first in order to transact or maybe even Ethereum. And then you can then use those coins to buy other altcoins. Um, so if you're very new to the crypto scene, it might be extremely difficult for you to try to get the newest ICO, try to be part of that, um, because it's too complicated because you don't, you know, it's, it's taking you so long for your account to get verified. There's lots of different factors and essentially Dether's goal here is to make it easier both for buyers and for sellers to transact crypto. So they've got this easy to use app where essentially it uses your phone's GPS and it'll find people around you that are either selling crypto or buying crypto. And it's no different than kind of like Kijiji where you go online and someone's selling a bicycle for $100 and you go meet with them and you say, oh, your bicycle's in pretty good condition. Okay, I'm willing to you know buy it for $100. You give the person $100 and you get your bike. Great. So that is going to be the exact same con uh, concept that Dether uses. You go online, you set a price for your Ethereum based on a fee. So let's say you've got one Ethereum and it's currently trading at $900. And you say, well, you know, I'm, I'm willing to sell my Ethereum, but I want a 4% fee. So you attach that 4% fee and that person gets to message you and you can negotiate on that fee up or down and everything is encrypted on an encrypted chat so no one knows um, who you are and that kind of thing so you're kind of protecting yourself that way and at the end of the day you go and you meet that person you hand them $900 and they hand you a secure wallet so essentially they're sending you the coins via a secure wallet. So I've got one issue with that. And there was a huge article uh, last year sometime where someone in Hong Kong went and traded $90,000. Um, I think it was US dollars. And he basically um, met up with someone who he thought was going to be a legitimate person. And those people ended up robbing him. So that is one thing that I see this uh, coin as being a detriment to them is security. Yes, they're offering, they're offering the secure platform. They're trying to make it as secure as possible. They're trying to make it so that people are vetted. Um, but it's there's always going to be those lone wolves that come in and they just want to like kind of I guess mess with people and 
it's going to take a really long time for people to trust this platform and to make make it the go-to source. Now, Dether has a competitor which has been out for a long time and it's called Local Bitcoins. So, extremely same concept, you can buy bitcoins, you can sell bitcoins and they have a now this happens to be in Canada and essentially what you can do so you got the person's username you got um, their payment method so this guy accepts interact e-transfers here's the price he's set and here's the limits that he's willing to buy so this is kind I guess you could say this is kind of what Dether is trying to do they're going to be a competitor to local bitcoins local bitcoins I believe right now only dabbles in Bitcoins. Um, so Dether might, I guess, change up the game and focus more on Ethereum and other coins where you can basically meet up with people in your scene. And the more people that use it, the more trustworthy the platform is going to get. And um, I guess the more secure it's going to become and people will feel better trying to buy or sell cryptos from someone that's been on the platform longer that has you know a better rating than some joe blow that uh, just joined and he's willing to buy or willing to sell such large volumes of of cryptocurrency so let's take a look at um the site a little bit here so buy sell cryptos with cash dether enables anyone to turn their smartphone into a mobile cryptocurrency atm as a shop, the simplest way to accept and manage cryptocurrency. So basically, if you own a shop, let's say you own an ice cream shop, um, maybe right now you have an ATM in your shop. So people come into your shop, you, you as a store owner, you make a percentage based on the ATM fees. So why not change that and make fees on crypto? So you can buy and sell using... Um, your shop as the storefront so you're kind of a trusted entity and you can tell people that you're willing to sell them ethereum and you're selling them for a three percent fee now what is the benefit of the dth token so dth is the dether token so essentially the way that dth works is a seller or shop stakes the dth token to become visible on the Dether map so that buyers can find them. So the map is going to be visible for everyone, but in order to be in order to be seen on the map, you have to actually stake DTH tokens. So that that's how it makes the DTH token um, worthwhile and how it makes it profitable is you're staking the coin, you're staking the token, and that is essentially how the coin's going to go up is the more people that are on the ecosystem the more coins that are going to be flowing through the market thus the price going up because there is only a fixed amount now there happens to be oh we don't know what the fixed amount is going to be at this point um, now by requiring sellers and shops to put up a safety deposit based on how much they trade we discourage fraudulent vendors from setting up shop while protecting buyers at the same time. So the goal here is they're hoping that by allowing a shop to be visible on the map, um, they're going to be more trustworthy because they've staked tokens to meet up with a certain individual in order to transact cryptocurrency. I kind of agree with that. At the same time, I kind of don't. I think anyone can essentially buy uh, DTH tokens and do that and if DTH tokens are extremely cheap they don't necessarily tell you how many tokens you have to stake um, but if I'm if I'm meeting up to buy say 10 ethereum that's worth nine thousand dollars and I only have to stake five dollars worth of DTH um, that's hardly you know discouraging fraudulent vendors because you know, if I meet up with someone and then I rob them, um, okay, who cares? I lost five DTH worth of tokens, but now I've got 9,000 Ethereum. So 
I don't know. I, I don't know how local Bitcoins does it. They must have um, some policy or maybe some way to fight or combat this. Um, let's take a look at their security here. So it says responsible disclosure, providing us a reasonable amount of time to fix the issue. Uh, no, that doesn't talk about it. So I don't know if you guys have ever used localbitcoins.com, please reply in the comment section below and let me know how your experience has been. Has it been you know, positive? Has it been negative? Have you ever had any issues with someone running away with coins or you give them money and, and then you know you didn't get something back in return um, other than that um, I don't want to I don't want to say that I'm spreading a lot of fun in this coin because I do think that this is a way that people that aren't familiar with maybe online exchanges they can buy and sell cryptocurrencies from people that they trust you, you know no different than going on online and finding a nice item that you want to take ownership of calling that person and meeting up with them cryptocurrency just happens to be a virtual um, call it virtual item or virtual good that you're buying now they do have a hard cap set at 15,000 ethereum um, a total of 60 million DTH tokens or 60% of the total supply will be put up for sale okay so so there we go so we've got 60 there's going to be 60 million total coins the other 40 40 percent are going to be held for future use um, circulating supply 74 million DTH tokens will be freely circulating when tokens are released expected utility token holders should be able to stake DTH tokens to appear on the map within six weeks after tokens are released at the end of the sale. So we do still have some time here, guys, um, before this platform becomes fully live. So here's the breakdown, 60% and 11, 18% is going to the team, going to the devs, 11% is going to strategic partnerships, hopefully marketing or ways to grow this company. 5% is for early co contributors, 3% for the bounty program, and 3% for their advisors. So pretty standard, um, although I don't see anything here that talks about their long-term, holding coins for the long-term. And here's their roadmap. So let's take a look at where we're at. So we're at February 15th today, and February 7th, is the token sale after spending months successfully testing the mobile application and making improvements to the smart contracts dether is opening its doors to the world dether's token sale will launch with a working alpha release thousands of users all over the world great that's very positive so in march is their main let main net launch dether's mobile applications and smart contracts will be released to the ethereum mainnet enabling users to trade Ether for cash and use DTH tokens to become more visible. So it sounds like uh, Dether is going to be primarily focusing on Ethereum at this point in time. So they're going to be a direct competitor to local Bitcoin. Local Bitcoin, as I mentioned, only sells Bitcoin. And this, these guys are only going to be selling Ethereum. So I don't know how difficult it's going to be for these guys to pivot and to start accepting different coins, maybe Ripple, you know, maybe um, NEO, that sort of thing, as cryptocurrencies become more popular and as their market cap goes up, um, it's gonna be an easier way to buy and sell them if this platform is already launched and whatnot. So, I don't know. I think uh, Dether has tons of potential here. So, what do you guys think? Please reply in the comment section below. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Please remember to subscribe. We're going to be coming out with crypto videos every single day, telling you which ones to buy and which ones to stay away from. And uh, I think, yeah, like I said, Ether has tons of potential. Um, I know local Bitcoins has been around for tons and tons of uh, years. Um, I think five plus years now. And um, 
you know, it's very community focused and community driven. And I think Ether aims to be the same way. So, um, you know, comment in the section down below, letting me know if you guys think Ether has some potential and if you're going to be investing in it. So thanks for watching and talk to you guys later.